Hi guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how to hold a Euromastix and let them get a little more tame in your hand. So yeah, so let's get to it. But before I get to it, let's subscribe or do what you want. I don't care. But anyways, um, yeah, but I really like that. So do whatever you want. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna lift this rock up real quick. Here he is. This is Yoshi. Hi, Yoshi. You're all right, Yoshi. Come here. All right, so I'm gonna put this phone down. All right, so sorry about that. So first, he gets a little little crazy in your hands. Let me try to set this phone down. Okay, here we are. So he tries to get a little crazy in your hands. So the thing is, you have to let him resist however he wants in your hand. So like I'm doing right now. So he's doing a lot better. I've been doing this training for a few days for uh, Yoshi here, the Euromastix, and he has gotten a bit better. And all you need for these type of lizards, if you have a reptile that's extremely scared of you, give them time. Like, give them time and patience. All you gotta do is keep holding them every day. If they resist a lot in your hand, don't put them back in their in their cage. Just let them resist in your hand. And then uh, after he tires up and starts to just stay in your hand normally, then leave him on your hand for a little bit, hold him for a little bit, and then put him back in his cage. So, and then don't, Put him on, don't force him on the ground. Let him walk out of your hand. I, I came up with these rules because it helps the Euro know that you're not a threat. It It's a little more better if you do it the way, like I said. But if you have other ways, that's great. That's great. But uh, this is what I think you should do. To train a Euromastix. So. I'm telling you my way. You guys have your own ways. That's great. Your ways are great too. But if you guys are thinking about. Just holding them for. Maybe a good minute or so. Might not want to do that. You might want to hold them. Maybe two three minutes. Every single day. But don't wake him up because the Euro will get stressed and, you know, if I was a lizard, I wouldn't want to be woke up either. So, yeah, this this guy right here is very friendly. If they try to bite you, which mine never tries to bite me. So, if it tries to bite you, put him in your hand. And if he bites you. Do not, do not, like, resist or anything like that. If a reptile bites you, do not resist, okay? Just hold your hand there until the reptile lets go of your hand. So that way, so it knows that you're not a threat. Now, other people on YouTube, I'm sure they would say different ways, but... This is how I think you should do it. And again, I have six reptiles. This is my first Euromastic, so I might not be correct about all of it. But, you know. But anyways, this is, this is the way you should hold him. If he wants to get off your hand, put your hand exactly like this. And let him walk on your hand. 
See? Like this. See? And however he wants to lay on your hand, let him do it. Don't force him in another way. And if you accidentally do, accidents happen. But while holding a very skittish reptile, you have to be careful so that way you don't drop him. See? Here's how I'm doing it. I'm being very careful with my lizard. I'm letting him walk on both my hands. And you have to keep him really secure in your hand. If he's in one hand, you have to keep him really secure. Now, I have to warn you, if you have a very skittish Euro Mastix and want to learn how to hold one of these, exactly what, like what I have in my hand right now, um, you, what was I going to say? Dang it. Um, oh yeah, these guys will whip your tails. Not, oh my god, I mixed that around. Oh, humans don't have tails. Anyways, uh, the Euromastic will whip his tail on your hand. He'll do all that other stuff, but do not resist. So like this, hold your Euro like this. Let him walk on your hand. But soon as he, soon as he sticks his head out of your hand, so his head will have to come out like this. You grab him like this. Keep him really secure in your hand. So that way, we won't have to worry about dropping him or injuring him in any way. So, yeah. And then after that, see Yoshi is starting to chill out a little bit. Me and him have been making a few progress, but like I said, you guys need time and patience for a reptile like these Euros, a bearded dragon, any lizard that you can handle, pretty much handle, like um, your blue tongue skinks, like that. You, If you have a baby one, you have to give them time and patience, but since I have a four-year-old one that was already tame, Nice around kids. You don't have to worry about that. But the thing is, you have to learn to hold them correctly, like any reptile. So, here's how I hold mine. The Euro, you hold them, you hold them like this. See? You have to keep them. You have to have your hands securely on his body. And, um, yeah. You have to hold him securely but do not squeeze him like that do not squeeze him keep your hands put your hands around his uh rib cage like this don't squeeze him don't force it just keep your hands like this like really lightly don't even push none of it just keep your hands like that or you could hold him like this if he's not moving in any case but, in this case, he's a very scared lizard. He's a juvenile. He's not really used to handling. I got him off of underground reptiles. So, these guys are not used to handling. But if you get a wild caught one, you especially have to give those time and patience and don't harm them. No matter if they're cap captive bred, which means they were bred in and not the wild, where they're not wild caught, they're bred by people, reptile breeders, then that would be perfect, because these guys, they're from the desert, so you would have to require heat, stuff like that, and other stuff like that, so I'm really losing my mind here. But anyways, yeah, so this guy right here, he's a little antsy, you know, but me and him were kind of making some progress because the very first time I started to actually handle him, like handle him, let him out for a little while in your hands, that's when it's. He started whipping my tail, not whipping my tail, oh my gosh, 
whipping his tail on your hand. These guys whip their tails on your hand. It's it's an active defense. Like iguanas. If you're holding like a baby iguana, they might whip you with their tails. And it might sting a little bit, but don't act like it hurts you because you don't want them you don't want them to be scared even more. You know what I mean? You you don't have to do that any more. The guy they won't they won't learn how to stay in your hand properly. And we really want to make sure these guys are safe and careful. So, any children around here, five or below, or a child that has never had a pet before, if you are a parent watching this video, you would, you would have to tell your child to be very careful with it. So, you would have to show them how to hold your euro. This is what this video is all about, how to hold your euro. And if you guys have a tortoise too, I have a video about how to hold a tortoise properly. And my tortoise Rocky over there. Uh I held him with two hands. Exactly how you have to do this guy. You, well, you don't have to hold him with both hands. But a tortoise, you might have to. Be, well, I think you have to. Because the tortoise is very round. And you definitely don't want to drop a tortoise. Or else, it's a really big possibility that their shells could break. Or they keep... They're, it's like a bone. So you will kill your tortoise if it shell breaks. So... So this is basically how it is for any reptile. You do not want to hurt your reptile because, like here in Indiana, you don't really have a vet around here. 